They do it to hug people. I like the Schroeder. Bro, happy. You guys still make friends. <laughs> the worst part is, I have to do this at work. Like, people will just be bickering and talking on the side. I'm like, can I do the presentation you want me to do now? That's ridiculous. It doesn't get better when you get older. No, it, it's I was cold. explaining that I do jujitsu to frauderize other people. No. Ah, that's not English. Anyway, alright, so. The first one we did is the arm out guillotine, right? I've got just his neck, my two arms, his arm is out of the out of the way, right? Out of the grip. But when we came up here, we had that arm in, right? So why not use it? Some people prefer the arm in, some people prefer the arm out. The arm in, if once you get a good squeeze and if your technique is good, is a lot harder, in my opinion, to defend. Because the defense to a normal guillotine. As he just comes up, yeah, wraps his arm over my shoulder and keeps his neck straight. And now he's got all the tight knees. Okay, as long as he can keep his neck straight and get his butt up. But if I've got that arm in, he can't get that arm over my shoulder in order to defend it. Make sense? So, we just came out of the side control. That's out the back. You should see it's perfect. Let's go on this side so you can see. All right. Any of these chokes are hard. Yep, there we go. Yep, and just sit up. Any of these chokes, it's hard to show you what I'm doing underneath. So, I came up in this position, right, when I'm on my sprawl. Imagine, sprawl. Cool? I'm going to take that hand, again, make my blade, and my opposite hand is going to slide into that same grip. Got it? But instead of being in front of his shoulder, I'm staying behind his shoulder. Okay, my legs move the same way, wrap over the back, and my arms move the same way as I squeeze. I'm gonna to have to put more pressure on the head when I guillotine. I'm not just squeezing his neck, my shoulder and my back actually help me bend it around my hand. Does that make sense? So when I come out of that position, I'm here, I lock my hand up, I slide in. Now my elbow's nice and high, and my right shoulder is dropping to my hip. Make sense? And I'm bending his head down into our hip. Does that make sense? Yes, no, maybe so. Yes. It's another one of those, just like that last grip. Guillotine, it's so hard, it's not like an armbar where I can show you where each piece is. You kinda gotta use your, your hands, use your body to figure out what works for you. All right, and that's why we drill it for so long. I know it sucks, I know it hurts the neck. One of, one of the things you gotta work on is neck strength anyway. That's why some of our warm ups, bridge and roll, things at the end, right? Tripod and roll, sorry, whatever. Tripod spin, I'll get there, I promise. Right? They work that neck strength to help defend those guillotines. And for fighters, the most common submission attempt in amateur MMA is probably a guillotine. It's a shitty guillotine, but if you don't know how to defend it and you panic, or you get caught at the beginning of the round when they're strong, you might panic and touch. So, we want to work on the offense and the defense. It's okay. So, for all these guillotines, is there the option that they come in hard to hold them back? There is, absolutely. That is an option. Okay? But anytime you're going straight back, you're not doing a guillotine right anyway. You always want to be out on the hip. Whatever, yep, whatever arm his head is under is the side I want that hip down. I don't want to be flat on my back. This is easy to defend. I want to be on my hip, cranking that elbow in, and now I can use my legs for sweeping. And I promise we'll get that. Cool? All right, so with your partner, same thing. Starting on your back. Do your out the back, and this time, instead of pulling that elbow back and hitting the short arm guillotine, I'm leaving it in there, and legs move the same way. Okay, it should be more blood, less rope crush. All right, questions? One, two, three.